hello everyone welcome back to sally's recipes in this video i want to teach us how to make zobo drink and also popularly known as suboro in ghana here is the hibiscus flower i'll be using for this drink pineapple ginger pepper cloves and dates why I'm using dates here is because I want to I don't want to add too much sugar to my Zobo drink. So when you add dates, at the end of the day you will discover that even if you are to add sugar, you don't need to add much again or you will not even add at all. Start by washing all the food very well. You can use vinegar mixed with water to wash it so that at the end everything will come out so clean. If you are new to this channel, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that any time I upload a new video, you will be notified. Also, peel the ginger and wash very well. When you are done washing all the spices, go ahead and peel your pineapple. I'll be boiling the hibiscus flour with the pineapple peel. But it's not necessary to add in the peels. If you don't want to use the peels, just throw it away. Just blend the pineapple and when you are done boiling the hibiscus leaf, you can add to it. Cut the pineapple in pieces and set it aside. I will be blending this differently from the spices. If you like this video, please share with family and friends or anyone you want to share it with. To a pot, turn in the hibiscus flour and the pineapple peels, add enough water to cover it. Cover the pot and cook on low heat for at least 20 minutes. You can see how it is boiling already and the juice has come out enough. I'll be boiling this for 2-3 to three times to make sure that I extract all the juice from the flour. I'll filter the first water. I'll go ahead and add in second water and also allow it to cover it very well and cook it for another 20 minutes. You can see that the water is not that red like the first one I filtered out. Cover it and allow it to cook. And this is the second time Use a strainer and filter out the liquid juice. Before you grind your dates, you need to remove all the seeds. You can see it is not hard to remove at all. Press it a little and you can remove the seed. Put all the spices together. That is the cloves, the dates, the ginger, and the pepper. All the spices all depends on how spicy you want your Zobo drink to be. I don't want it too spicy and that is why I don't want to add all the spices and boil with the Zobo drink. I prefer grinding all the spices and when I'm done, I add it in bits and test. If the spices is okay, there is no need of adding all. I must confess that the first time I drank Zobo drink, I did not like the test at all because they were just too spicy for me. And I brought out this strategy that anytime I want to do my Zobo drink, I grind the spices differently. When I'm done, I add it in bits. If it's too spicy, I will not add all to it.
when you are finished blending add water to it so that it is able to come out through the strainer this zobo drink is so so nutritious i do it for my family once in a while but it is packed with so many nutrients and this is our juice turn it into a bigger bowl there is enough to contain all the juice filter in the pineapple use a spoon and push it through and begin to add in your grander spices in bits as you test you don't want your zobo drink to come out too spicy right and that is why you need to add this in bits test it if it's okay for you you don't need to add all the spices but if you want it too spicy then you can go ahead and add in all I just tested mine and the spices did not come out well. I'll go ahead and add in the remaining one. Please tell me in the comment section below what do you call this drink in your language or your dialect? Or what are the other spices that you use to make this drink? Go further to use a clothes strainer and filter the juice so that it will come out more clean. You can see the pop that has collected on the clothes. And also, how do you enjoy this drink in your place? Do you enjoy it hot or cold? Personally, I like drinking mine when it is chilled a bit. Or rather, I'll put ice in it and enjoy it chilled. Transfer it immediately into glass jars. You can keep this in the freezer for up to two months and it will still be okay. Or in the fridge for up to three days. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Just so you know.